Rootboy 3 and 3 and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode we met a Sage who decided he would sing to us every Pitbull song that ever existed and we were also tasked with the task of... Uh, uh, I've been thrown off track by using the word task with twice within like four words. We've been tasked with a mission of defeating the monster in air quotes in the desert. And we must aid Sage Izumi, I think it was, also in the desert. And if you recall, a couple of episodes ago, when we were back... <clears throat> I do apologise for coughing there. Back in the desert, where we... I believe we confronted Famine, yet... Famine ran away. Um, if you remember, off to the upri upright... Upper right, slightly... If you remember slightly, there was... Oh my god, what was that? Did you see... That, that was like a full... It's like a full-on house dome thing, and now it's just transformed into a dead texture. Oh, and it's broken, right. Something, something, you know, you remember... Well, <laughs> at any rate, I'll quit talking. Is there any item here? No, there is not. Did I already take it, or...? I don't know. I... No, I didn't come down there. I'm just confusing myself now. But, as we return to Fami's desert, not his dessert, but his desert. I would have rather had his dessert, seeing as though he is famine, I assume he'd come up with some fanciful dessert. And to do this, I'm going to switch into... I've already forgotten, was it Lydia? Yes, right. For many days I have laboured, using my magics to seal off the beast that famine summoned here to destroy the land and form the desert. I drove it into this corner by and by sheer willpower, I am keeping it there. But I fear I cannot hold out much longer. Go forth, young warrior, and defeat this abomination of the land. Well, it's better than an abomination of the sea. Was that a joke? I tried to make a joke there, but it fell flat on its face. Just like me, many times. Aerodactyl. Well, this beast, it's an Aerodactyl. <laughs> Granted, yes, it is a shiny level 40 Aerodactyl, but it's only an Aerodactyl. And yes, the fact that it's an Aerodactyl, just that you have to battle. That is why I wanted to go into Lydia, seeing as though she's a rock type. You can, if you want to, actually catch this Aerodactyl. It's level 40, so it may be a bit higher level than your Pokemon, like it is with mine. And it's also a shiny, and it might be the only shiny that some people will get. But I don't want to use it, so I'm just going to KO it. But it looks like it's managed to poison itself already, which... Hmm, I thought, I thought Dark, in Generation 3, I thought Dark type was special, not physical. But I'm guessing, um, moves that are implied that it makes contact are still classed as somewhat physical, maybe. And now I said I wouldn't catch it, but it managed to get itself to this low, this low, low area of health. I, I wanted to say strand of health. But that didn't sound like the right word. But I'm just going to throw this nest ball and if it doesn't work, oh well. Because I'm, I'm only going to... Well, <laughs> I didn't expect it to work, so... I was about to say no hard feelings, but no harm done that it didn't work, so... Yes, as you, as you can see there, it knows Bite Ancient Power and Scary Face. I believe it knows Wing Attack as well, but... Well, so it's got a decent array of moves, but... I have no use for it on my team, so I figured just KOing it will do the trick. What do you have to say, Mr. Izumi, after I did your job for you? You you defeated the monster. Your power is great indeed, young one. I can finally return home. Thank you for your great kindness. You know, if he's a chose, the chosen one slash great sage, you'd expect him to do something more grand than just plod off screen. But, that's besides the point, if I'd like to say the same phrases over and over again. I believe we should head, other than heading northwest, I had to think about that for a minute, because even though I'm the age I am at the moment, I still, even though I know which way is east and which, which way is west, try saying that five times quickly, which way is west, which way is west. Yeah. It's not that hard, so it seems. Um, what was I saying? I've totally forgotten. Um, and now we can... 
Oh no, wait, I think I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I want to get back up to the top. Right, I, I, I vaguely, oh, whoopsie, I didn't mean to leave. Oh, my God, I am not having a good day. Do I just... Well, I was going to say, do I just bung myself up here? Evidently not. Um... Uh, <laughs> um... Why is this so difficult? I did it, I did it a few days ago, or yesterday. And it wasn't this hard. Oh, there we go, right, okay. I figured it out, panic averted, even though it wasn't really a panic, it was just my brain just collapsing in on itself and not working anymore, like it does. Uh, right, I can't remember how to do this one either. So I'll just skate around, so I need to, oh, okay, I need to be, I know roughly where I need to be. Does this work? This works, there we go, I think I've done it. There we go, that was much less painful than last time. Yet there are still the wild Pokemon appearing, just at least they were less frequent this time, but... At any rate, the... What's his Majigger face, man? Oop, I, I defeated the monster? I nearly said I defeated the desert. I mean, that would be a, a very good thing if you're able to defeat an entire desert yourself. Although I'm not entirely sure how you'd manage to, de to defeat sand and, gr well, singular grains of sand. But maybe turn it into a beach? I have defeated you and turned you into a tourist destination. Yeah! I don't know. <laughs> it's safer that you don't question these things that I think about. <clears throat> Do excuse me for dying slightly there. Aha! You have defeated the Aerodactyl. But there are still dark forces at work here. The demons still hold the peak of the mountain. I must ask you to destroy them for me. When you return, go to the tower. At its peak, I shall wait for you. Alrighty, so I'm assuming we can go up to that tower now. Well, even though he said go to the tower, I'm meaning, um... Well, what am I meaning? Brain, will he help me on this one? Th yes, that one that's through the dead pixels, if we can get back up. Right, oh good, we can. <laughs> Thank you, dead pixels, for guiding my way. Well, actually, I don't think the dead pixels are just, like, corrupted pixels or something that's just been put there that shouldn't be there. I don't know. Oh, and we're in another cave. Ooh, shiny reflection. <laughs> right, medic. Right, I don't quite remember what's in here, so I'm just going to save for good measures. Alright, apparently we went, we went through a cave and got to Mount Chimney. What is this? Ooh, dining hall. Can we have food, please? Oh. I was promised there'd be dining. Oh, I really wanted to dine. Because in, because God forbid in video games, they follow any form of logic and ever use the bathroom or eat anything. Har oh, oh, is he one of those demons again? Rock blast them all. Okay, interesting words from old what? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we are in for a treat. As if you never beat me, here's Mikov. And yes, oh, and like I was saying, the Deadly Seven do return. Stronger than ever. I say than ever, it's only like the third time we've defeated them. <clears throat> but, um, yes, you do get to return, and with the joy and insanity of the Deadly Seven. Is this the. I think this is the fourth time now. Yeah, because there was once <clears throat> in all the caves in the Island of Calm. Then there was once on the upper side of the bo Inquisition boardroom table. And then once on the lower side of the boardroom table. So yeah, this is technically the fourth time. I know who you are, and please don't say anything stupid. Onions, pears, gasoline. What's the answer to my riddle? Find out after the battle. Was that a riddle, or was he just saying stupid things? Because if that is a legitimate riddle, I would like to know the answer. And hooray, Lydia grows to level 38. Heh, <laughs> I'll tell you the answer. Go ahead, tell us the answer. The answer is helium! And lots of it too, ha 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 ha. You are so not funny. Well, I find this kind of insanity funny. 
considering we're in a whole dead apocalypse kind of thing, it's nice to have some comic relief. Gonna, 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 gonna gunk off. Here I am, folks. Time to rumble with a gunk, Meister. He changed your personality again? And yes, he apparently also changed his, his ethnicity and became American. Ah, snow into in my eye. I have been slain. And now, your, I, I just realised in my brain, accent does not determine ethnicity. Because my brain works like that for some reason. The earth is flat, but only insofar as I'm a perfect sphere. Um, what? I can't spell words well. How did you manage that? <laughs> oh dear. I am. Speak weirdly, I do. Yoda? No, young one. Kharkov, I am. So, Yoda. Because Yoda is apparently also Kharkov at the same time. Right, and I trust it's some other... Yes, ground type, so... <clears throat> if I could stop dying, that would be fantastic. And I don't mean Pokemon-wise, I mean IRL-wise. Even though I'm not dying, I'm just coughing a lot. Right, next up... I am Robotnov, the 90th of the Deadly Seven. We've met. And you're the fifth. We've covered this before. Really? Okay, then I'm the 90th of the Deadly Seven. Why do you inflict such torture on me? Uh, I don't know who this is torture to, but I'm finding this hilarious. Oh dear. Right, one more Golbat. Let's use one of these fancy new energy root or juices. Is it root or is it juice? Lemonade! If you sold lemonade, I could buy some from you. I don't sell lemonade. Thus, you should sell me some. Are you listening to me? I don't sell lemonade. Sell me lemonade, you little brat! I refuse! Eh, fair enough. <laughs> oh dear. The perfect shade of insanity. Oh, we don't get to battle the other four or five that were there. Right, okay, Chloe. Give it up, demon, but go back to where you came from or I'll destroy you. <laughs> what an amusing thought. You think you can destroy me? Let me show you. What are you doing here? A civilian? Get back. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Demon, I won't let you take innocent lives. Prepare to be cast into the abyss. Aye! Pathetic. And here I was thinking you might prove an interesting opponent. You Taoists are all nothing to me. You defeated Alicia, even weakened as you were by my crippling sandstorms. You are a formidable foe. I shall fight you when I am better prepared. Ugh, oh, I'm okay, I think. Hmm. Aren't you the kid who's been messing with our people along with Glyce? Yes, you're the bad guys, Glyce and I are the good guys. That's how it works. What? Glyce is the bad guy here, don't you know what he's up to? Not really. He's fighting the Four Horsemen and their zombie legions. Right? True, but not for the reason that you think. He's serving another master. A dark master. Even on the Four Horsemen and their ally Meteor, that master is also launching an invasion of Hoenn. In the east, and Glyce is a spy sent to destroy the western forces from within. Um, that's kinda crazy. You have to believe me. A strong trainer like you, we need your help. Before you arrived, that demon said something about him being angry that his sister had been defeated. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I defeated Pestilence. I love how... This character that you play as seems so disinterested in it. She's like salty and disappointed with everything. Just like my personality. You see, no one else in this region could have done that. What, why is she questioning that? Surely that would be a solid statement, not a question. We need your strength. Hmm, I don't know. Glyce has helped me so much. Has he? What has he actually done? It's true. He hasn't actually given me any aid. And come to think of it, he lied when he said I would find answers in New Morville. I guess you're right. <gasps> really? Fantastic. I'm so glad you realised that. Look, I have to go, but I would appreciate if you would drop by my house later. Isn't that the Inquisition base? 
Oh no, the base you invaded was our secondary base. I live in our main base north of here in Fall Arbor. Well, see you. Oh, thank you so much for your help. The demons and those odd government people have left. On behalf of the Sangha, I declare you a pure soul, and if you so choose, you may enter the sacred Shakyamuni Tower. Is that, is that a reference? Because if it is, I am not getting it. But at any rate, I'm going to end this episode off here, so thank you for watching. And next time, we will either either be heading up to Fall Arbor Town, or that Shake Your Money, or Shake Your Money, however it's pronounced, up through that tower. So I assume I will meet you back with the Sages. See you then. <laughs>